Hi, I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to cut basil. Um, so I have our basil right here. It's already been washed. You definitely want to rinse it and make sure it's patted dry. Um, so simple enough, I'm going to start with just like a general chop. Um, you're just going to just pull it off the stem just easily. Just pull the leaves off the stem. Just pull, 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 and just discard. And then sort of fan it together. Let's see, just make sure these are perfect, gone. And then just pile it on top of each other and hold. Be careful of your fingers. Sometimes I like to kind of squeeze it together because it's so, you know, soft. And just chop like this. So move your fingers back and just allow a little bit more space. And really just make sure you're smushing it together. Like I'm, I'm pulling it together like this in a nice tight little bundle because if you don't do that and you just kind of let it lay flat, see how much more difficult that is to chop? So just hold it together in a little bundle and just chop. Now something else that you can do if you're wanting to do it like even thinner and just very quickly, if you have a pair of scissors, like small scissors, these should just be for the kitchen. Uh, make sure that nobody's like snipping nose hairs or anything with these, just kitchen scissors. Um, and you can just do as tiny as you want. You could even do, you know, like a long, like schnod, like, see? Or just a quick, even tinier little minced bit with the scissors. But whatever way you cut it, it is an absolutely fragrant, delicious herb. And that's how you cut basil. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at requests at mahalo.com. And don't forget to check out our other great videos.